right, what's going on, everybody? We got a little Luigi's Mansion 100% race for you here today. Uh, it was actually brought to our attention a little bit ago that the incentive for 2P1C any percent got met. So let's go. <laughs> All right. So I'm HD Lax. I'm Joven. I am Electric Miles. Hey, what's up? I'm Flauk. All right. I think we're ready to go, wouldn't you yeah, say? Yeah, let's do it. Let's All right. do it. All right, so we'll do a countdown from five. Can you guys in the audience help us? All right, we'll go from help five, us. okay? Five, four, three, two, two one, one, go. All right. All right. So I guess the first thing we should mention is we are running on the Hidden Mansion version of this game, which is basically an NG plus from the normal mansion. You unlock this mode by completing one run of normal mansion. And what this version entails is it gives you a faster vacuum, which is the main reason why we run on it. Uh, but on English, you take double damage, and on PAL, it's just completely different. We have another category for that. It's a pretty wild run. You should check that one out if you get the opportunity. crazy, but it's very fun. But uh, So this is the 100% category, so requirements. Get all 23 portrait goats, all 50 boos, and get enough money to finish with an a rank mansion. So the runners are going to be collecting money throughout the run. Should mention we are playing on the Japanese version of the game. Yes. Yeah, there's a couple Japanese exclusive glitches and the text is faster. Yeah, the main reason is the text. And another thing we should mention is all of the money in this, pretty much all of it, is randomized. So a neat thing about a 100% race is there's a variety of money routes that you can do, but none of them are really slower than the other ones. So you'll probably see a small difference in the money route that Joven and I does. A big thing about the money routes, like in modern 100%, is routing around pearl duplication. So you can duplicate pearls. We'll get to that when we do the portrait ghost, but that pretty much determines how the runners collect their money and everything. It changes the whole run. Slick doubles out here as well. Those are not easy. No. Very clean. Pretty much sync right now. My money RNG is kind of bad, but that's okay. We do get a speedy spirit in this room, which is a special kind of ghost that drops a lot of money. Yeah, we don't collect many of those, so it's a uh, sight to see. So these garbage can ghosts actually have a pretty different hitbox than every other ghost in the game. You can actually push them around without taking damage. So yeah, that, uh, them into that speedy spirit drops a lot of money. Some of them drops gems, some of them just drops coins and bills. Pretty much the name of the game, like, bills are worth four gold coins, and they're almost just as plentiful as gold coins, so they're actually, like, worth yeah. the most money. Yeah, they're what you should definitely be pri prioritizing in a run. Mario. Hmm. So we're heading into the first set of Portrait Ghosts in Area 1, and there's a lot of new stuff in this section. Especially since the last time this was shown, there was a Pearl Dupe that was found in Neville, which previously was not possible. And uh, both runners are going to go for that, and it's kind of weird with how it works compared to every other dupe. So normally, beforehand, we would require an element to do a vacuum cancel, but in this case, the runners will be showing off a different method of doing a duplication. So you can see the runners avoiding picking up the pearls and trying to get them. Joven a little out there with that big pearl. Got HD it. got it. Wow. But you got one small. Did not see the large, but two two mediums. Large. That's about a about a one frame trick, maybe a two frame. So it's not easy, and uh, they that, add up quick. But yeah, that, that setup is really neat because you can get a lot of dupes doing that. The uh, large pearl is the most important one because that's worth one million gold, and you need a hundred million to get the A rank. Every portrait ghost will only drop a large pearl if you get to 10 health from your first suck up. I mean, Mario. technically, every 10 it drops a pearl. You could do 91, but for most, for the most part, in your first suck up. <laughs> it's hard coming to up on a nice little uh, cutscene mm -hmm. skip in this room. Yeah, this is a, this is a relatively new skip, well, kinda. About a year and a half ago, this is called Laser Crusader, based off of the player who found it. It allows you to t skip the second set of Chauncey text, saving around about two seconds. Yeah, if you like stand in that spot, you can barely stand outside the uh, range where it freezes Luigi. All right, we're coming up on the fabled Chauncey one cycle. 
this is so about six months ago this was the only boss in the game that you could not one cycle and it's by far the hardest one to get so what this trick entails is you suck him up and at some point he will break off there's not really a visual or audio setup for it so you just kind of have to assume when he breaks off and when he does you have to release the r trigger and repress it immediately it basically regrabs him and this is about a one frame trick that saves yes. 34 this is seconds very difficult so if Ideally, we both get it, but... And you don't get a second chance to try it. Even we'll if we, uh, if I like to add, even if we drop him, it's still okay. It's only losing three seconds over the old strat of the two cycle. HD coming up here. I you got, got it! it. Mm -hmm. Go! Oh, no! no! Oh, he dropped that oh. too! That's a very rare thing that can happen with the uh, the one cycles. Sometimes Chauncey just does not want to stay on. That almost never happens, so... Wow. But for all intents and purposes, they both got the frame, which is kind of insane. I cannot believe that. That's crazy. That's still really impressive by the both of us. Wow. So, HD at this point has about a 37 second lead on Joven, but with elements that come a little bit later in the run, that can change so very quickly. So, don't count Joven out. One of the best in the world here. And uh, this would be a perfect time for donations if you have. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, here's our $50 donation. Thank you for the applause chat. Let's go! Crowd, sorry. Wow, $50 donation here from Big Max. Much love and a big shout out to both Joven and HD Lax. HD, you are the reason I started running Luigi's Mansion when I first saw you running at a past GDQ. And Joven, you are a true master of this game, and the way you play is an art form. Show the people the beauty of 100% and the the LM community is proud and blessed to have you both get lots of dupes, go for some sick strats, don't forget the toilet, and be blessed. Be thy buttly mouse. Uh, P.S. Calling it right now, either you both get early release or you both miss it. We'll see. Appreciate that, Big Max. Love you, buddy. Much Thank love, you, Big, Big Max. Max. Love you. So, right here in Area 2, you're going to be noticing HD is moving a little funky in hallways. He's, uh, the goal is to try and point your flashlight up and keep Luigi kind of facing the center to avoid ghosts from spawning. Doesn't waste that much time if they spawn, but about a second. I'm going to go for the task double. We'll see what oh, happens. New double setup here. It is a new double setup found somewhat recently by Pablo Ron. Oh, he got it. Nice. Wow, that is, gets it. that is not easy. Another fairly new trick coming up in the next room, the uh, six-piece. Yeah, so guys... I don't know if HD goes for that one. Yeah, so I have something to confess. I don't go for that. I'm slow. <laughs> Gotta go for it. Saves one second. That one second's important. It is. Yeah. That's really the name of the game with Luigi yeah, Mansion, so... Micro. Like they were saying, you can group all these guys up and get a six-piece and save about a second, but I never learned it, so I'm just gonna do doubles. I'll eat the tires. One way to do the double. That was a sick backup. All right, now for a random chance to save 10 seconds here. If yep, we'll see. They show their heart early. Come on, Big Max, bless up with this. Bless up, Big Max. I didn't get uh, it. <laughs> that's uh, the Orlindas have a about a 50% chance of showing yeah, their heart early. Yeah, that's a completely random trick right there. I wouldn't even call it a trick. That's intended, but. They can either show their hearts 10 seconds earlier than they did just then. And, uh, yeah, it's nice when they do that. So you notice. Inside, he's going for the six piece. <laughs> Joven going for this. And I got it. Very nice. nice. Goaded. Shout out to, shout outs to Hopeless for that one. And you, you oh, know. Oh, no, the so, uh, CHD just spawned oh a my poisonous God, mushroom. Right next to me. <laughs> Sometimes when you're checking for money and objects, a poison mushroom may pop out. You don't want that to hit you or you lose 10 seconds. And if you're doing anything, then you can't. So, yeah, checking that pail early is good for just spawning that poison mushroom early so it doesn't mess with you trying to do post or skip. Worth noting that I got early release, yes. so I saved 10 <laughs> seconds over HD from pure luck. See, the gap is closing. So HD is going to be introducing the main RNG element of this uh, of this run, booze. There's a lot there's a lot of tech and tricks with booze. 
and they can uh, make or break your run. Especially in 100% compared to, you know, out of bounds, because you have to get 10 more, and some of them are very, very difficult. Mm -hmm. A little strat called R pumping we use on booze, which we'll get into, as you yeah. can see in parlor. Probably one of the most important oh. tricks in this game. Saves so much time. Well, I'd say the most important. Probably. <laughs> this game was no fun to run before that trick was found. All right, so they're going to go back into rooms they completed already. The booze end up will be in a random piece of furniture. And sometimes it's a fake, sometimes it's the real, but when they show up, that's when you can start getting them. The, in the parlor, there is a tech skip set up with the tablecloth. If you suck up a boo and then suck up another, like a cloth right after it, that takes over, like, what was the most recent, recently thing sucked up? So he got the RNG for it. Oh, got another one. In. You love to see that. Oh. Oh my, oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't even know if I can get the tech skip. I don't think I pulled it off pull, enough. I think he did. I think you got it. Yeah, I think I got it. Okay. You got it. You got it. That tech skip These is, mushrooms are sketching me out. That tech skip's pretty nice to get on that first one because the first boo you catch, EGAD gives you an extra long text box on. So getting that one is... Uh, yeah, that's a huge one. But so yeah, like Miles was saying, we're just doing some backtrack right now because uh, we can't advance until we get five boos. That's a little thing with this game. There are some, like, another one. Another one? one. Three? How? Oh, no. So anyways, as I was saying, uh, we have to backtrack right now because there are little checkpoints in the game and you can't advance forward until you collect a certain amount of boos. So right now it's five, later on it'll be 20, and then it'll be 40 to get to the final boss. On Joven's side, the uh, boo was under the table plus so he couldn't go for tech skip, very unfortunate. Really bad luck when that happens. Mm -hmm. And it's left side in the ante room. <laughs> So you can see the luck element with these boos is he has to check three different objects just to look for one boo. So HD found him first try. I don't know where this guy is. This, this room can be a really weird with searching for the boo sometimes. There is a trick where you can go for the double in both the... Uh, storage room and the ballroom, but it's pretty difficult and it kills your run if you miss it, so yeah. not very marathon friendly. Yeah, pretty much a YOLO trick. It does save seven seconds, but it can cost you up to a minute if you miss it. Yeah, you have to go back to area one and get another boo there. All right, we have to knock on the toilet for Big Macs. You have to remember. No, Jovan, don't do it. <laughs> If you're wondering, knocking on the toilet is 0.1 seconds slower. <laughs> I think I can risk 0.1 seconds. Yeah, you have time to spare. Do you? He does. Do I, though? <laughs> so Hg's going to enter the fortune teller room. We can't do anything in there until we get all of Mario's dropped items. Yeah, so we'll be back here later. We go right into the mirror room. Got some fun... Invisible ghosts catch. Yeah, it doesn't really matter much that they're, we can't see them. We just remember where they are. Yeah, the, the ghosts have fixed starting locations. So as long as you memorize where they start, it's you can do set, setups for them. And with these grabber ghosts, you can uh, you can make some really funky uh, double lineups with them. So you'll see that a couple times throughout the run. So coming up here is a, uh, another trick called Fire Warp. This is a trick where you pick up the boo uh, whilst grabbing an element, and that will skip us having to uh, go through all of the uh, element EGAD dialogue. It'll also reset the butler cycle and make it a little bit better. Uh, we'll get into the butler cycle in just a moment. So I got it. So he saves and quits and goes back to the foyer. Yeah, and if he wasn't save warping there, you'd have to sit through another EGAD text, and you'd have to light the candles in the room. And you can only get out of the mirror room by lighting the candles in that room. Yeah, and the element texts are pretty long. You'll see just how long they are on water and uh, ice. But unfortunately, we can't save and quit on theirs, but thankfully we can there and save a little bit of time. I think Joven got it too. Yep. Nice. <laughs> Mario! 
So you're gonna see a set of candles appear on the edge of the hallway here for HD. That's the butler. Nice. Ideally, you want him as far to the right as possible because uh, right now we're on a cycle. We have to complete the laundry room and make it into uh, the butler's room before he makes it there. If you don't, then you lose a lot of time. <laughs> yeah, so while waiting for him to walk over, I see him doing the laundry room, collecting some money on the way. This is where the first dropped item is, Mario's hat. Did get the mouse out here to spawn. Mouse of good luck. You might get him though. It's a little too slow. It is a little slow. Yeah, that's the Butley mouse. Shout out to Butley Mouse. He actually called me earlier. He told me he'd spawn for you. Oh yeah, he did? He did. So you can go through the room that. before the chest spawns, skip that cutscene. So You'll uh, have to watch it later. But he skips having to watch it twice. So this is where traditional duping will come into play. HD's gonna try and hit it. He got, got it. it. Wow, nice. that's another one frame trick for a dupe. We wanna try and get as many of those as possible. There is a sapphire in the bottom left corner. If you're going for an easier money route, you can go for that. It's a really funky dub quad setup in this room. You don't see many of these throughout the mansion. And these evolve those puncher ghosts, and they're very annoying. Very clean. Little nice sketchy, quad. clean. Let's see Joe then. This here. Don't unfortunately not get in that dude. But we got many more we opportunities. Got plenty more chances. Runners try to aim to get about four or five in a run. So we get about 17 tries. Uh how many do we get? Like yeah, like 17? Yeah, I think so. Oh yeah. Oh, I mean double for Jove in there as well. There is a tech skip set up using the towels hanging up. It's a little awkward to do. Mm, ooh, Almost. Barely missed it. Reading the Boo Radar in the hidden room would be very confusing sometimes because there's objects all over the place. Yeah, one of the most confusing rooms to Boo Read, which Boo Reading is very important in this game if you want to go fast. The Boo Radar looks intuitive, but it really isn't. The Boo's I thought that looks so was going weird. To mess you up. <laughs> Your vacuum will auto lock on so many different things that it could mess with where, what you're aiming for, especially yeah. booze. It's weird how that happens. It doesn't prioritize what you need, but instead, like, you know, like a health item or some money. Ah, uh, uh, no. I'll be TS for me. No one getting it. Michael's disappointed, boys. <laughs> Very awkward trick. So Melody here can play two themes. She can either play the underwater theme from the original Super Mario Brothers, or she can play the Super Mario Brothers 3 theme. The water theme, which I got, is a little bit faster because it's the first option. Could you imagine if those were randomized, like the choices? Right. Yeah, like eight so options. annoying. <laughs> You'd actually have to stop and like memorize the text. Unfortunately, no dupe there for HD. Hopefully, Jovan can get that one. Oh, Another God. poison! <laughs> oh, man. That's my fourth one in, what, almost 20 minutes? So, mushrooms have a 1 in 10 chance of spawning, so it's actually pretty impressive that I've managed to spawn this many. I'm actually shocked it's that high because that's bigger than you think. Also, goodbye hallway music. That can just sometimes happen on the Japanese version. Yep. All right. A little bit more of an eerie vibe. So we're going to spawn Lux's attack cycle, but his takes a while, so Richie's going to go ahead and do kitchen while he's shooting fireballs at nothing. There's actually a gym that you can get in here, but I'm skipping it because I'm going for a five dupe route. I think Joven's going for a four, so you'll probably see him get that. Yeah. So here's the water text box. And as you can see, it's plenty of mashing. Not the most amount of mashing, though. 
You do want to extinguish that door on fire. Lots of that boom move was very inconvenient. Okay, I'm going for this. Ooh. Going for a new strat here. Where you spawn the boo. Fire in the kitchen. Quickly get lugs and then come back. And Joven running out of fire. Luckily the fire, the torch is right there. All right, so I spawn the boo and then I get him when I come back in here. Where is he? I am shocked you have enough time for that. Good quest. Yeah. There he is. I think you just have enough to get that. It saves a little bit of time. Yeah, so that saves a little walk. bit of time. All right, most important part of the run coming up, watering the plants. Yes. That is very important. You have to water it once in area two, once in area three, and once in area four, and it drops a gold diamond, which is worth 20 million gold. That's 20% of the required 100 million. Yeah, so if you don't get that, your run is pretty much over. Yeah, you, you, there's no shot you're making that up without. You'd have to get a lot of dupes. I think there technically is a route that doesn't get him, but it's crazy. <laughs> We're a long ways off from going for that. Ooh. That's a Ooh. cool setup. Yeah, that's a that's a really, really new setup for that double. It's not easy. Alright, so I've just gotten to the second area boss of the game, Bogmire. Unlike Chauncey, he's much easier to one cycle. There are no like frame perfect tricks that we have to do during the suck up. It's pretty straightforward. Yeah. It's still pretty difficult to suck up a one cycle. Chauncey puts you on a hard timer after a certain point. Bogmire does not, or at least takes a long time before it does. I don't remember. But very possible one cycle. It's still very difficult. Did you water the plant, Joven? I still got time. Don't make us nervous. <laughs> Most people water it on the first cycle there. It's hard. I had fire. I'm into that. That's why. Very nice. Tactical. Nice. Cooperated pretty well, too. All right. Usually don't get this ruby, but gonna get it in this run to be safe. Oh, did you do spooky? I did. Nice. Hey. That's number one. One of four. You also got them. That was very wide. That was wide. The flashlight could be very temperamental. <laughs> Not easy. This, but this would probably be another perfect moment to read some donos. All righty, then here's $25 from Exotic Chaotic. Uh, hey, friend of Jovin's and huge fan of the game. Tell him I love him. So if I can get some help, can we make sure that Jovin knows Exotic Chaotic loves him? Anybody? Oh, Loud enough for you? We got there. <laughs> Alrighty, here's a $10 donation from Yoshizilla. What's up, HD and Joven? You guys are going to put on an awesome show. I'm excited to see the two-player, one-controller run after this, and I'm so happy to see my man HD running a GDQ again. Good luck to both of you, and make sure you guys get to 100 million, not 99 million at the end. We'll try. No promises. Nice one cycle there for Joven as well, getting that. Nice. Yeah. 18.9 million for HD out of area two. Yeah, bill count's a little low, but I do have two dudes, so there is that. With the amount of poisons you spawned, I'm not oh my surprised. God. I don't even know how that's possible, let alone I'm doing it here at GDQ. <laughs> Once you start getting one poison, I feel like you start just getting them constantly. It's like a plague. It is. Mario. Back here into the courtyard. So in the courtyard, you can actually clear the courtyard and light it up, but we don't do that because it's technically not required. There's no required item, just extra money. Mm -hmm. Prepare for one of the biggest twists of all time. Right here. Yeah, this is huge. Watch this. It's Chris Pratt! Oh my god, Chris Pratt? No way! This dude's in everything. Yeah, so 
That's kind of the lore with the game. Chris Pratt has been kidnapped by King Boo. We gotta go get him. Charlie Day's gotta go get Chris yeah. Pratt. After we rescue him, we'll go out for some drinks. A purple bomber right behind Luigi. There, he's just got to position the water just right to not spawn him. So this is Biff Atlas. He's a workout guru, but we're gonna show him who's boss. Very important key right there, so you don't have to walk all the way around. Yeah, that that key saves a lot of time to get. Ghost is not required in no out of bounds. This is one you'd see in 100%. Oh, yeah. He grabbed the pearl. <laughs> I did. Suck up. Unfortunate. I think he's there. He is. Ooh. No boo music. It's really eerie when the music goes away. This boo can be a little tricky sometimes because it loves to double cackle off those. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on. Punching bags. <laughs> now, HD's gonna be shooting a water ball into the ceiling. That was for a reason. The door right here is on fire, and we can, uh, when you hit it with the water, it takes about three seconds to go out. So we hit it early by hitting it through the floor. HD also going for a tech skip lineup. This one's, uh, this one's pretty flashy because it doesn't really lose time to go for. Yeah, basically, you set it up while we was just being flipped onto the ceiling. Usually the cycle always works out that the boom moves while you're getting ice. So yeah, it's a good I think he just switched switch. into the ice bucket for me, which is pretty good if he's there. I like it. Very nice. Man, this RNG. And the tech skip. Nice. Very nice. Coming up on Nana and Petunia. Yeah. Yes, so this is Nana. We just have to hit her with these three yarn balls. Also, it's worth noting she fires laser beams from her eyes. And somewhat of a nuance with the 100% with doing Nana first is that sometimes when you're doing this Petunia, some of the pearls can drop behind the bathtub and it takes a long time to grab them. If you leave a medium or large pearl out without grabbing it, another portrait ghost, it'll despawn the larger media pearls on them, so you don't want to do that. So you'd rather do uh, Dana first. Let's see Joven set up this tech skip as well. Mario. So fast. Mm -hmm. HD, six years ago you were here. I was. Got Petunia. Yeah, so short story here. In 2017, I ran No Out of Bounds, and I actually just straight up forgot this ghost. <laughs> Had to go back for it later. Yeah. Happens. Mario. Mm -hmm. Into the hallway of doom here. If you don't play this hallway right, you have everything spawn on you. That ah, gets it done, though. Yeah, they're very clean because vacuum can auto lock on mice. You can get hit by get hit by a mouse and spawn every single ghost that's there. Like so many things can go wrong there, and it's more just annoying than anything. But funky doubles in here in the uh, the astral hall here. The uh, mask of the Shy Guys can be a little trickier than they look. Sometimes they just don't want to come off. Fun triple setup here. We got Very it. Very nice. Nice. Good RNG. There's another room where reading the boo radar can be a little tricky because it's a lot of objects really close to each other. Yeah, he can hide in every single one of these candlesticks. Ideally, you want him to be in one of the drawers because that's easier to read. Right, watch the observatory for moonshots. 
I mean, Shaq can be deceptively hard. When you're, when you're trying to go for it quickly, we have a reliable lineup for hitting Moonshot, but when you're trying to go quick, you just, you just shoot it. And it's a lineup using Luigi. The, the lineup, like, trying to aim at the moon doesn't work, really. <laughs> Very clean. Bullseye. Like right Dead down the center. <laughs> Those candles, candles were insane. I know, dude. Or... You can sometimes just miss a candle. So it's, a, it's trickier than it looks. I think there's supposed to be outdoor music. <laughs> How are your dupes looking, Joven? I've got one so far, which is, it's a start. Yeah. I've got and even if I don't get that many dupes, I could go for plenty True. of backup money, too. I have two at the moment. So we're going for like four or five dupes. Yeah, this is something you have to always mm -hmm. keep in mind while you're mm -hmm. playing. Mario. You can see the Boo Radar tripping Joven up there. Yeah, it's all over the place. On me. Do we talk about Boo Switches? Oh, yeah. Boo Switches, they're on a global timer, I think, when you load in the mansion. I think that's correct. Yeah, that is correct. Boos, after a certain amount of time, will switch objects, but the decoys that you spawn do not. So, if you ever hear a boo laugh and you're not, there's no boo on screen, that's because of a switch. Sometimes it's a good thing, sometimes it's a bad thing. Yeah, if you do know the decoy it doesn't move, you can, you can actually, like, get a read on it that way. And sometimes during cutscenes, you can, the boo moves, and you can use that to help read where the boo is. Slim bang shot over here. This is a little tricky, and sometimes these billiard balls can just bounce on all over the walls and despawn before you even get a chance to grab them. Bullseye for Joven as well. Very clean. Very clean. Slim bang shot. Oh, he's here. Okay. That was a good move. See, that, that's a boost switch causing good things. Yeah, that's, that's a boost switch you want to see. Also, at this point of the run, both runners have above 15 boos. So every single time they talk to EGAD after a, catching a boo, EGAD can give a text box that takes half a second or a text box that takes like three or four. So, so sometimes they'll just give you information that you probably already know. And the longest text variation is Van Gore text, as we call it. Where he talks about Van Gore and his whole life story with him, it takes forever. We don't like that. I know, and the worst thing is, is he can just say it on repeat over and over. You can have it happen so many times. You can't tell, we don't like talking to EGAD. Yeah. That's why we do the text gifts. We do them wherever we can. <laughs> Coming up here for HD, there's going to be another uh, warp. This is a... Uh, the glove warp. Oh, that's a boost switch you don't want to see. Right? Let's see if you get the uh, special one. Should be good. Oh, I think you do. Nice. Yep. Ooh. I get a long text, though. That yeah. is not easy. If you want to, if you catch the boo and then with the two frames that you have to walk, pick up the glove. You, uh, you save a little extra time and you get the funny text. Yeah, you'll see you walk some funny text thing. on the screen right here. That text's not supposed to be there. Very funny text. Yeah, there's an easier version where you get like half the animation, but that's grabbing the boo while you're grabbing the glove while you're catching the boo. And the reason why that's faster is because you're able to grab fire in this room. Element is really important in this game for one dupes. Two, every single time you see them enter an unlit room, you're going to see them pull out their uh, their elements. That saves about like 0.5, but you do it like 100 times throughout a run, and it adds up real quick. Yeah, so the vacuum cancels using the elements, skips the animation of Luigi either taking out his flashlight or taking out his vacuum, which that definitely adds up over the course of the run. All right, HD is about to cheat at hide and seek. All right, there's one there. If the box shakes, he's in there. If it doesn't, then he's not. You can just use your vacuum or your element to check. He's there. Not the worst. And I'm also going to be getting another speedy spirit right here, just so I have a little bit of extra cash. Yeah, this one's pretty convenient to get because you still have to wait for their animation to 
be done, and it doesn't drop a gem, which gems have a slow animation. In a uh, Vortex. Did you? Oh, no. oh of yeah. course. Hate to see that. And uh, it is possible to double up on those ghosts. There are portrait ghosts that you can double up on. Dang. And uh, you will see one later in the run. No save warp on the shoe, though. There are still a few things you have to do in this section of the mansion. Mm. That boo is weirdly deceptive because it'll immediately leave the room if anything happens. Mm. A lot of times we see the a double on that boo just because it folds straight out of the room. Good RNG, and are we going to get the uh, ball taking up the entire screen? Oh, oh, we'll see. I'm moving to frame. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Look at it. It's beautiful. So in here, there's another tech skip coming up. This tech skip's important, though. You really want to make sure you get this, because Lydia is one of the laggiest rooms in the mansion. And if, uh, if you miss the tech skip and you have Egad talk to you, if you're getting Van Gore text, it's probably taking twice as long just from the lag. Uh, and it's definitely, like... Confirmation bias, but that one always seems to drop <laughs> like the longest All right. possible. Govan going time. for the double here. I'm going to do something different here. Uh, I'm, I'm you getting didn't Clair Voyage him. <laughs> Clair Voyage him? Yes. Oh, so try. close. Yeah, it's good to be safe. It is. I only have two dupes, and I just I just want to make sure. Yeah, Sapphire is worth 500,000 gold, which is half of a large pearl. Ooh, nice That's jupe there for nice. Joven. All right, and on HD screen, he is giving every single um, dropped item to Clairvoya with a lot of text, about a yeah. minute and a half. It's just literally a minute and a half of uninterrupted text mashing. So that should be a great time for some donations. Yeah. Absolutely. Here's a $25 donation from Flair that says shoutouts to Chauncey One Cycle getting shown at a marathon run. Super exciting. Super happy to see this high level gameplay get shown for a race of this caliber. Best of luck on the dupes, boo spots, boo text RNG, and all of the other things the game throws at us. We're all ready to also see that 2P1C that you guys have prepared for. Proud of you all. Thanks, Flair. <laughs> we appreciate it. Appreciate it, buddy. Here's a $20 donation from D Taco Man. I started watching SGDQ with Luigi's Mansion and have stayed ever since. Love the community. Let's beat these games quick. Talking about that 2P1C run, that's about a five minutes estimate, I believe. So we've got less than 50 minutes left in this run. And let's keep in mind that Devil May Cry incentive coming up after this. We have to close that at the start of Devil May Cry, which is the next run. We're at $1,000 of 4,000 needed, so we definitely got to get there soon. HD just getting another dupe there casually. That's three now, right? Yes, I did my three. math right. Well, the three. Should have 13 at this point, and he has 16. And there's our there's Van, the Van Gore text. Cool. Thank you, Egad. We appreciate you haven't it. noticed there's a lot of mashing in this game. Yes. So now HD is going to be going back to Lugs. Don't think we didn't forget about Lugs. Lugs, uh, we end up skipping it and leaving it for later for one specific reason of uh, ice. We require ice for an up and coming room, and it kind of just makes it easier to get all this stuff later, and then pick up ice. Yeah, and, and he needs to water the plant now, too. And we do need to rewater re re the plant. Yeah, the most important part of the run. <laughs> Cannot stress that enough. Mm -hmm. Open the fridge, pick up ice later, which will be needed for the next room. Mario. So at this point, it's sprouts into a beautiful flower. Which you're not going to see because that takes too long to do that. Yeah, we don't, we don't want to watch the flower. Once, once you hear the jingle, you're good to go. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to do our favorite part of Luigi's Mansion, walking. So mm -hmm. we're going to see a lot of this. Yeah, especially in Area 4, a lot of walking up and down. I can throw in a couple more donations. Absolutely, and we practice for walking with Ring Fit. Let's not forget that there. 
$44 donation here from Boo Crew. My brother and I have home videos from 20 years back of us playing Luigi's Mansion. We're sitting together tonight to watch this race. Thanks for blowing our minds by breezing through Bogmire, who is, was, and always will be the stuff of nightmares. <laughs> There's no way this is 20 years old. Don't lie to me. <laughs> Fight this as a kid. Don't make me feel old. 2001, September. Yep. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> What? Do I have time for another donation real quick? Go for it. All right, here's ten dollars from Rex BMX. Sending love from the Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon community. Good luck to Jobin and HD. Big shout out to the Dark Moon community. Dark Moon community. Very underrated game. Yes, we love our fellow Dark Moon runners. Yeah. Just start. Sometimes when, fire. sometimes when the boo spawns and you have your element out, you just start rapid fire shooting your element out. It can uh, be jarring to see. Especially if you need to conserve your element. In this case, not really, but later on that could be an issue. <laughs> that plant does not want to work. <laughs> Dude, I should have bought a cactus. <laughs> Sometimes you have just slightly the wrong angle where it just does not work. Yeah, there's a very specific angle for that plant, and sometimes it just doesn't want to sprout. Coming up here for HD, this is Bulosis. For, uh, for, I'd say most people in their childhood, this boss was t terrible. Yes. It is so uh, very hard. Very frustrating. But uh, we, got a, we got a very easy trick that should make it pretty easy to one cycle, but... Stuff happens. Yeah, so you're either going to be really impressed by this or I'm going to embarrass myself. We'll see what happens. No pressure. <laughs> you got this. So we just back up while having the vacuum out. Once we get to the other side of the arena, we shoot a nice shot, and it should hit most of them. And it did just like that. There's 14 just like that. It, uh, it is possible to get all 15. Very, very hard to do and very rare. Ooh, Joven slipping on a banana. These bananas, dude. Uh, with the garbage can ghost, oh, and he dropped that poison. <laughs> Fun part with the garbage can ghost is that, like, if you let them just drop bananas, the room gets very chaotic. Yeah. At this point in the game, the developers tried to throw as many difficult combinations of ghosts in your way, so make it really tough. This is a great time for donations right yeah. now since we're in this guts. Yes. Absolutely. Fifty dollars here from Duskman. You gotta save Chris Pratt for Guardians 4. Here is five dollars from Boo EG? I must boo the crowd as there haven't been many boo puns or names. Come on, guys, boo! Yeah, boo the puns, thank you. <laughs> it actually should be noted in the English version, I think in the Japanese version, every single boo has a pun as its name. Every single one of them. Yes. And one of them is Booigi. Yeah, there is Booigi. Then there's like Game Boo and what else? Come on, there's like 48 others. Under at, one, at, yeah. at one point, I could probably name all 50 of them. The now, six o'clock so boos. <laughs> That's my favorite. 40.6 for HD and A4. Yeah, I need a couple more dupes for this money to be good. But right now, I'm just going to go water the plant for the last time. And we'll see that beautiful gold diamond. We're 20% of the required 100 million. Joe, mm -hmm. going for a slightly different setup. That there. was such a funky setup. Let's see him get it. Mario. Mm -hmm. Nice shot. 13 with the Very shot, nice. 2 with the stray. Nice. That was beautiful. So there's the gold diamond. That's 20 million G's. The next one will be dropped by the 50th boo. I'll be the only two gold diamonds, but that's 40% of the required 100 billion. And uh, the total amount of money that's in the mansion is... 142,390,000, I believe. Yeah. 
that's the max amount of money. There is a category in which you get all of the money, and... Uh, I've played it. I don't recommend it. It's fun, <laughs> but uh, there's... Can... Shout us to Sealed Room Mouse. <laughs> yeah. I, I had a run where I got it on my 19th try. Now, world record for that actually isn't very long. It's like a 140, right? Yeah, I believe like, like 148. Yeah, 148. Yeah. Was it 148? I think it's 148, yeah. Mm. You can see the walking up here from HD. Yeah. Enthralling to, gameplay. Yeah, about to head into Blackout where we have to go back to the beginning of the mansion anyway, because the ghost we need is in Area 1. But luckily, you can use a mirror to warp yourself back to the beginning of the mansion, saving a decent amount of time, but it's still a lot of walking. So we could probably get a couple more donos in here. Alrighty, here's $25 from Mist. Luigi's Mansion has been one of my favorite games ever since I heard the scary voice say, Nintendo, as a kid, and it scared me. Go, GDQ! $25 here from a cute, friendly ghost. It says, just a friendly ghost here to donate to this amazing event. Hopefully, hopefully Luigi doesn't catch me during this run so I can watch more. Got $100 here from M. Octavian, Luigi's Mansion! So excited for this run! So coming up here for HD is uh, it's gonna be Grimly. Yeah, he will show his heart if you're looking away from him, but it's completely random how long it takes for him to do that. Yeah, he can either show his heart right when you walk in the room or like a minute after. The record for the longest Grimly is 47 seconds. 49, 49 by HT Delta. Oh, All right, just a second. I got him lodged in between the wardrobes. That's perfect, because you get all the wow. right there. Oh, yeah. If only the, if only the room was uh, lit, you can dupe all of them. Hang on, I'm going to go for the air dupe. OK, no, it didn't work. <laughs> didn't end up in the air, unfortunately. No. But sometimes when all the pearls are grouped up, it just can really just mess with where the vacuum's being pointed. So a little tougher than it looks. I'm sure it doesn't look easy either. <laughs> Going down into the uh, the breaker room, we have the uh, probably probably the most infamous boo for runners anyway is breaker boo. Breaker boo can be one cycled, despite having 200 HP. So something we didn't point out before that with our pumping. You can you can stun the boo where we call it the cackles where you uh, stun it, but you can only do it 15 times, and you can do it usually once every 10 health. So we kind of have to get creative on keeping them away. <laughs> and he gets it. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. When HD ran, ran this game in 2019, he, he missed that boost, so good redemption for him. This is my redemption arc. Here's another funky double. You get them to charge into each other. That is also tougher than it looks because it's a very awkward angle, and sometimes the game will just decide, no, you got punched by that ghost. I know you're behind it, but you still got punched. Joven's also coming up on Grimly here. Give us another instant, Grim. Come on. No instant. Well, this He's is just not chilling. good yet. <laughs> He's it's just... not like the okay. speed run. Right About now. five seconds. <laughs> you also got him lodged. No, yeah, well, kind of. Yeah. Wasn't the best luck, but could have been a lot worse. All right, back couple, on the walk-in. A couple more donations while uh, Luigi's walking all the way to the third floor. But uh, getting the steps in for the day. Ten dollars here from Splazer Games, HD, and Joven, the two greatest LM runners. I am so glad to have met you two. Good luck with the race, guys. Much love. Also, nice shirt, Flock. <laughs> Splazer, I'm wearing uh, I'm wearing Splazer's merch right now. <laughs> that is high quality. Found our donation is all they needed to do, and now it got shouted out. Good for them. Love you, Splazer. <laughs> all right, Joven coming up on Breaker Boo as well. Mm -hmm. Except Joven does a little bit of a different setup for Breaker Boo that, uh, in my opinion, looks a little bit more interesting. 
So there's wall strat and there's drag strat. HD did wall strat and Joven does drag strat. Got the charge. That gives you a little extra buffer. So with HD, he kind of just wiggled the boo back and forth by the edge, but Joven does these big drags to get more and more health dragged off the boo as you walk him to the left side. Just makes it look easy. That's not an easy Very, boo. very nice. nice. With the tech skip. <laughs> Coming up here for HD, you have the Toy Soldiers. Earlier, we had the Twins that you could double up on. Well, the Toy Soldiers, you can actually triple up on, but uh, I would advise against Boys doing that. Yeah. It's like we're we're playing on Pal. Have we talked about Pal? A little bit. Uh, we, we mentioned, mentioned it, but we didn't go into detail. The important thing with the uh, Portrait Ghost, where there's multiple ones, only one of them drops the pearls, and it's consistent every time. So the Blue Soldier is the one who drops the pearls. That's the important one you don't want to drop. Soldier over here for HD. This always looks really scary. <laughs> I was afraid he was going to break there. Your heart always drops when going for Soldier Double. Yeah, there is a setup, but trying to get both of them at the same time is pretty difficult. They aren't the easiest to get. Uh, All the ghosts in this game have a different level of pulling you and different level of uh, what how, what your margin of error is. It's really hard to describe. He's walking them over to where the chest is going to be. Then you can grab that ladder while that chest cutscene shows up. Saves up very little bit of time, but every little bit counts. So we are officially at the start of the run. So yeah, oh, no. Jared yeah. Giants, and I the, tend to agree with him. Yeah, shout out He's to right. Jared Giants. This is the start of the run. We just played a 51-minute prologue for the run to start. The attic boos make or break your run. They can go any direction. They can do as they wish, and they are ruthless. These are two boos with 300 health. These are technically possible to one cycle, but yeah. TAS only. Yeah, so I want this guy to go down here so I can finish him off in Telephone Boo. We want him to go down. Did he go down? I don't know. We have no idea. Mm -hmm. he did. Oh, he did. Oh, he, thank goodness. Oh, boy. So you can somewhat manipulate where these ghosts are going, but not always. Yeah, sometimes they do have a mind of their own, and they'll just go wherever they please. Shout out to Jarvis Boo. Oh my god, don't even mention it yet. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. We're going to come back this direction at the end of Attic, so we'll get that boo after. It works out a little nicer that way. Just what Luigi decides to knock on just as a mystery. Mystery is very laggy, too. Did you do that, Joven? Yeah, that's four, I believe. Nice. All right, with four. Four or five. I'll have to check the count. I think it might have been five. It was at 20. I th yeah, I think you're supposed to have 15 there. Okay, it is fine. Got the grab, but still back. Oh, oh no. Not quite. Oh, the iframes, though. Yeah, All if right. you get a ghost to zero and it's in the middle of being sucked into the vacuum, you do have iframes to take advantage of. So we're going to go for a bit of a riskier strat on rooftop here than what you saw in the chief screen. This is the Boston Burn. Shout out to Boston. This strat is a, technically a bit faster, but you got to get it in a specific oh, way. Man, there was... He missed it. Hey, it was worth going for. It's flashy when you get it. Yeah. Back up double. There you go. At least we got the double. Okay, so you have to watch it in armory because the room is very laggy, so you actually have to sometimes pump a little bit slower than normal if the room is lagging and it can throw you off. All right, Jarvis time. So you can grab this gem because uh, Jarvis is on a fixed cycle. And that cycle continues while that animation is. Yep, so getting that gem loses no time. But it can be pretty risky. If you get it close to when Jarvis is supposed to pop out, you might miss him. And yeah. if you don't complete his game successfully, he sends you outside and you got to do it again. And you can't miss him a single time. The best time to do it is in between the first and second. 
So what am I going to I'm going to attempt here is a five-piece strat in this room that was made together by me and Pablo. Very cool strat. Jarvis being very weird. I was afraid that Jarvis was going to hit you. I was too. Oh. Look towards Jove in this a monumental. Oh, he nice. got it. Nice. There are so few runners. I think Pablo and Joven, I think Pablo being another two. top level runner, they only go for it. Oh. Where are you going? Okay. Oh. <laughs> Jarvis Boo can sometimes go right, and if he goes right into the hallway, then uh, you gotta chase him out. And it loses so much. And this can be pretty awkward, too. Because he can't easily get to that Boo because of all the uh, armor in the way. Mario. All right, this Boo find can be a little awkward sometimes. You can sometimes get a read based on a... Uh, oh, very nice. Like where the Boo moves when you're catching the one before. Oh, there's the boo. Left. Yeah. Hate to see that. Ideally, we want him going back right again. And he's going but he goes armory. Left. These boos just, just, just decide to go where he pleased. You can just do that sometimes. All right. Well, honestly, that's fine. At least we're done with the attic now. Yeah. The by far the hardest portion of the run out of the way. Ooh, Ooh I oh. dro he did drop the large pearl. That's though. good. So he was under 10 health, so he still dropped the large pearl. I think I might grab Sealed Room Gem. Just in case I don't get another dupe, I just want to be sure that I have the money. How many do you have? Three. Plus Clairvoyant Gem. I mean, I could probably get by with one more. Man. No reason not to play it safe, just in case. I can one cycle this boo, which I'm trying to do right now. But it is very tight. Yeah. And unfortunately, it goes to the right. It's a hard one cycle. Not many people have gotten it. It's a bit janky. Oh, yeah, I'm getting this gem. <laughs> Luckily, that boo went right, not left. If that boo goes left, you gotta walk all the way back into Jarvis. And we wanna avoid going back there as much as possible. Oh, okay. <laughs> I tried to set up a double there. It didn't quite work out. Yeah. All right, and that includes the attic for HD, and now it's time for basement. Might be a good time for some more donations right now. Yes. Yeah. Here's a donation from A2 Rhombus, $15 here. HD helped me learn this game all the way back in 2014 when I first got into speedrunning, and it's so cool to see him on the big stage with Joven representing one of my favorite games. Much love from the crowd. Make some noise, guys, come on. <laughs> we'll see how they react to this one. $10 here from Hello <laughs> Zelda, loving this Luigi's Mansion race for this year's SGD Boo. <laughs> Ooh. Thank you for that. $25 donation here from the Sammy B. So happy to see two of my friends showcasing such an incredible game. Good luck to you both, and may the RNG be in your favor. Smiley face. Much love, Sammy. All right. The boo in the pipe room has 300 health. However, it is the slowest boo in the games. So you can do enough manipulation to one cycle it. It looks real funky with how you move. You manipulate the boo to go to one wall and then another one. As you can probably tell, these boos do have a mind of their own. So even if you try to manipulate them, it might not always work out. Like this guy, he just wants to go down. And this room is surprisingly cramped, so it's very easy to knock into the boo, just like that. Oh! Go back! 
Oh I'm my god, going. how did I save that? He was out of the room. Got wow, it. that's crazy. That is... You clutch that up. And uh, you do not want that boo going down because uh, that's the room we're going in next and you cannot suck up boos in unlit rooms. So when you go down, you just have no choice but to let them leave. Yeah, so the boo's health will go down very slowly and once they hit one, you they will not take any damage after that. They have to be in a lit room. Nice. Yeah. That's a very tough goes to one cycle. It's one of the unfortunate things, like the, the two hardest, at least in my opinion, to get a one cycle are Weston and Supi, and they're at the end of the run. Tricky one cycle because of the ice. HD making it look easy though. And uh, we do another save warp here. It's a little faster to save warp out. Uh, even despite, you can notice how slow the game loads out. When loading sealed room, uh, once you exit out of the game, it just slows right down. For whatever reason. And if, even if you never save warp, it'll slowly load into King Boot too. So you just have to watch it go slow no matter what for whatever reason. Joven. Let's see Joven get this too. Being a little feisty with me. All right, I'm going to make a little bit of a detour, and I think I'm going to get T-Room Gym. It's a good idea, honestly. I do not it blame is. you. This is a gem that they, uh, they didn't click earlier. When going for a dupe route, generally, this is the, this is the gem we cut out first. Oh, yes. oh. oh, that's... Man. And he goes right here because we do not want to go back in a pipe room. Yeah. So one, one HP. HP in a room. Wow. Gotta love it. Hey, where you go? Okay. Yeah. That's he's it. at that one HP where he's not going to get hit by anything. Does not care. So yeah, this room instantly spawns five gold ghosts. Volume four. <laughs> and then two fire elementals. So yeah, you can stun lock the ghost with the uh, flashlight by just turning it off and on. Another dupe for Joven. That's number six. Six. Nice. You got wow. six dupes? <laughs> this money's looking good. It's looking phenomenal. So here for HD, this is Sue P. Like Miles was saying, uh, she has a really low margin of error for her suck up. So Compounded with that you have to suck her up from the ceiling. And you have the two dolls in the way that love to home on to you. So this is just a very awkward ghost to catch. It made got it look really easy. Very out of the way there. That was well done. There's the one HP boo for Joven. Unfortunately, no dupe there for HD. He's got one more opportunity to get make a dupe happen. Going for the uh, gem here. Yeah. I just want to make sure. Yeah, I don't blame you. Yeah. There is a boo double setup you can do here into the... Uh, yeah, I'll go for it. Why not? Yeah. These boos can't really go too far. They really can only go into these between these two rooms and the hallway up ahead. Unlike the the boo boo uh, double set up in the early in the run, this one pretty low consequence and it looks super cool. Also, because this mm -hmm. hallway's lit up because it's area three, the hallways will light up as you progress through the areas. So both boos same time lowers them to the ground, Bear's makes nice. it happen. <laughs> Hopefully we see Joven go for that as well. He will. Walking on to Van Gore. Yes, this is the guy who EGAD never shuts up about. Finally gets Sam, and he still yeah. has a chance of getting yeah. Van Gore text after catching That's too. true. Yeah, so the lore in the game is this guy made all the regular ghosts that we've encountered throughout the mansion. So he just paints them and then brings them to life. Gives you a little 
quick sample of all the types of ghosts. And he, uh, he throws waves of three of each ghost at you. If you're playing pal, it's five. Yeah. H don't make this look easy though. That one's deceptively hard. That one in the grabbers. Very nice though. They have a very strong pull. They can pull in so many crazy directions. Very nice. See Joven go for it. 66. This guy's a bit high. A little sketchy. Oh. Oh. 2 HP. Doesn't waste too much time, though. He just goes back into the sitting room. Yeah, not like a huge run killer, but... So right. And that's Van Gore. So now I'm going to get this last boo and get the gold diamond. Oh, and, and I got a dupe there. there. Okay. Nice. So that's four. Four and six. So I'm going to try to do a save and quit with this gem. So if I catch the boo in the corner, ideally the gem will land on top of me. But there's also a small chance that the gem can go out of bounds. So it's very high risk, low reward. But, you know, that usually doesn't happen. Yeah, if the booze is in the wrong place at the wrong time, we can drop that gem through the wall. Let us see. Oh. I think I got it. Nice. nice. Yeah, the gem warp. So we can save and quit with that. Yep. Shout right. out to Fire Dragon. 2015, he didn't yeah. out of bounds the gem, he just forgot it. <laughs> Spawned it and just walked away. Just walked away. Then he just, just warped out and there you go. There's 20 million, gone. Right, moving on to the final boss, King Boo. I think I can get a 109 here. Be really nice. 109 is a very good time. Also, a new trick, I believe, to GDQ is King Boo 1 cycle. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, last time in any percent uh, run that HD did a few years back, the trick was like two weeks new. But we've let the, uh, we've let the trick cook for a little longer, and uh, it's a bit more viable for runs, but like Chauncey, not easy. Very, very difficult. And saves 20 seconds, I think. It's 20, right? I think it's like 18, I don't know. I, it's 18 on average. Okay. <laughs> Going here, just finishing up Van Gogh as well. I could do like one or two donations. Okay, well here's a really important one. $25 from Big Macs. Uh, you forgot a boo upstairs, Jovin? You gotta go back and get it before oh save warp or right. after Van Gogh. Oh my god, Jovin, you have, right. you're missing a boo. Shout out Big Macs, thank you Shout for that. Big Macs for uh, saving the run. Actually. <laughs> the legend. All right, Don't forget it? the gem. Yeah, it would have been really confusing, like, oh, wait, where's the gem? What that's, happened? <laughs> that's how Fire Dragon lost the gem a few years back. So I pulled the Fire Dragon. So, HD coming up on King Boo. Yeah, so I'm going to be setting up for the one cycle here. It's a really hard trick. Not as hard as Chauncey one cycle, but... There's a lot to yeah. it. You know, a lot there of things a lot go to wrong. It. it looks real janky, too. Like. The movement's got to be precise, and there's a little bit of RNG to it as well. Like with Chauncey, it's just one shot. Get it or don't, there's a lot to this. Good setup there, though. So if, you're, if you're pointing the va vacuum upward, you have a couple frames to keep the vacuum pointed upward and shoot it. We want to hit King. We want to hit Bowser in the okay. head, which he did. I need this guy to go down, though. We need King Boo to stick to the ground. We oh got go down. <laughs> uh. I think it's going to be dicey. close. So close. Oh. Oh. Not an easy trick, but the fact that you got the shot. I know. That's crazy. Yeah, even when you get the shot, that's only half the battle. And King Boo could still not cooperate after. Oh, 
this one cycle one more time. Also, I'm coming up on time, by yeah, the way. Yeah, he's coming up on time once he sucks up, uh, once he picks up King Boo's crown. Oh, my I might take close? damage here. Okay, okay. we're good. <laughs> yeah, once King Boo pops into the vacuum, that's time. And, and time. time. <laughs> 109.20. 10920. That's a very good, That's a great great run, run, honestly, man. Yeah, I'm super happy with that. But the run isn't over yet. We gotta count up the money. Yes. We don't know how much money he has until we go past the last portrificationizer cutscene. Are you gonna wait for Joven Yeah, I'm gonna wait for Joven at the uh, screen. And unfortunately, this there's no warp. Actually, one of the worst places to get this gem. I got to walk all the way to Armory to Mirror Warp. Yeah, the closest mirror is Armory. But he remembered the gem. Did remember the gem. Don't forget the gem. Hmm. Five Five would be proud. He would be. So this is probably a good spot for maybe a few more donos as he's walking on down. Absolutely. $20 here from Tofu Raven. SGD Boo? But what about LuigiDQ? <laughs> I like that. <laughs> That's what I like to think. Luigi's man. That one got me to laugh. <laughs> $10 here from Moxie Boo. Donating to doctors without boo orders? You can blame me for that one. Valid. <laughs> Heard. $5 donation here from Jared's Giants. Good luck to, to all of you boys up on stage. Proud of you guys for repping Luigi's Mansion once again for all of us. Looking very forward to the 2P1C run. I know you're nice and practiced up. No, we're not. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to be honest, uh, we haven't practiced at all, so... Uh, yeah, so here's the deal. Like, an hour before this run, we didn't even know we were doing an incentive, so we didn't practice at all. So, but it's going to go well, I, pr I promise. It's actually never been done before, so... Yeah, so this is the first, first is, ever... You're seeing this debut right here on GDQ. We're doing it live. Joven up here on King Boo as well. Let's see. Uh, let's see the redemption. Redemption here. Hoping I can get it. I believe in you. There's you got a slightly this. faster uh, variation of the trip called the TAS one cycle, which saves, I think, a, a second about. But if you miss it, you soft lock. So yeah, we're not yeah, going to do that You don't want to go here. for that. We're not going to do that here. Yeah. So if you hit Bowser's head before he throws all the spike balls, it'll get stuck on his hand, and he will never throw him again. You'll just be stuck like that forever. You kind of. You're forced to just reset the game and go back, but Joven really can't afford to do that because he did not gem warp, so he's doing soup pee again. <laughs> but that won't happen. Nah, we're taking this safe. That's something that can sometimes happen. You just shoot it right above his head. All right, we're going to go for the classic two cycle here. Yeah. The tried and true. First cycle, you get 250. Second cycle, you get 250. Not too difficult. Ideally, you do a little more than 250. Yeah. Like 239. 239. That's yeah. good. I think I can shoot this a little lower this time. You going for it again? Yeah. There you go. There you go. Nice. Nice. He doesn't really need to go for the second shot. He could just get the 239. It still saves time getting a better early shot. It does. Bit. Saves a fraction of a second. One more time. And time. Nice job. That would be a 113 for, uh, 113 19 for you, Joven. We'll take it. Beats my PB. All right. The last thing we need to do for the run is count the money. I'm going to wait for Joven to get to the text box that I'm currently waiting on, and then we'll, we'll send it. We can take a few more donations during this. All righty. Here's a $100 donation from Murlock Eck. It says, I like to support charities, so I'm sending a little something. 
And if you'd like to support other things like yeah. the incentives we have coming up, there's the Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition Use Alternate Costumes Incentive. We need $4,000. We're at $1,300 right now, and that is closed at the start of DMC4. So we finish this run. We have the five-minute estimate on a 2P1C. We've got the oh, recap, that's not five and then minutes. we're here. It's not even? It's, it's, that's 25. It's 25, sure. Yes. 25 minutes. Okay, so we do have a little bit more time there is what I'm hearing. So if anyone else is just out there collecting crowns from Go, because we do that here, you should definitely put it towards DMC4 because we need your help. There's some really cool costumes. We'll be using specifically the legendary Dark Knight costume for Dante, which makes him look like his father, and then the prototype costume for Nero, which gives him a scarf, which I don't agree with, but we're here anyways. So yes. think about it. We need your help, and it's all for a good cause. If we still have a moment here, I do have another donation that came in. $20 from Marissa the Moth. Luigi's Mansion was the first game that I tried to beat in one night, quote unquote, with my best friend. Little did I know that it would be my gateway into loving speedruns. So glad to see it on the SGDQ stage. All right. All right. Coming up All here right, is for ready. money. So they require 100 million Gs. If they do not have it, the run is invalidated. All right, we'll send it in three, two, one, go. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Suspense is killing me, dude. Me too. I think you guys like frame synced the pearls or the count. And we got it. There we go. 103 nice. and 101. These runs are valid. All right. Official runs. It is official. All right, so with that, is it time for the bonus run? I think it's time for the bonus run. All so right. this is two players, one controller coming up next. We want to okay. do it here or there? No, it doesn't matter. Where do you want to do it? All right, well, how about you come over here? OK. How about you swap out your controller, Chauvin? Yeah, we yeah let's use your my controller. controller. So, I'm just gonna scooch over here. <laughs> Go ahead. Huddle up. You're up real close. So, all right. I think we need your memory card, Flout. Will you? Yeah, we need the safety save. We can make one, right? We could just save after Chauncey. Oh yeah, that's what we were gonna do. Okay. Let's just do that. All right. All right. You ready? Uh, I think so. Are we good to go? Good. We're good. All right. All right. Ready? Yep. All right. Three, two. One, go. All right, this is, uh, this is any percent. So about six minutes into the run after you beat Chauncey, uh, you can go out of bounds and beat the game in about seven minutes. Jovan over here actually has the world record for traditional any percent, seven minutes and 30 seconds. But with two players and one controller, the out of bounds tricks become very difficult. Yeah, this is going to be very interesting. It's going to take a lot of coordination. With but, uh, out of bounds tricks. These are two of the best players for Out of Bounds. So, start the Out of Bounds tricks are very tricky, and there is a soft lock risk at the very end of it, too. So they're going to they're gonna get a safety save uh, after beating Chauncey, just to, just to make sure. <laughs> yeah, we do not want to redo the entire run. So you're going to see some jankiness with these doubles and stuff as they're attempting to coordinate. There's a, uh, there's a traditional two-player, one-controller uh, run that uh, is for the 80% no-out-of-bounds category that takes about 57 minutes that HD and another runner, Jared's Giants, holds. For, for two players, one controller, 57 is a very impressive. Yeah, that's, yes. a, that's crazy good. That's like top 20 in the main leaderboard. Just don't do any scare skips. All right. We don't want to get that intricate. So. Very tiny gameplay here on the screen. <laughs> See these doubles? Ooh, nice. That was nice. fast. Wow. Doing good. Faster than any of my doubles. 
Oh. Ooh, okay. In any way you splice it, these, these doubles are still easy. <laughs> they can trip me up sometimes. Yeah. If you push it the wrong way. They can. <laughs> Back on our way to... Uh... Mario. Yeah, area one is... Just a little bit the same without collecting any of the money. Yeah. I can do uh, a couple donations. Who's gonna mash? You're gonna mash, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so with play with two player one controller, you don't actually need. It's one. How we quantify the rules is one player on one half, one player on the other half. So one person can do the mashing because you just need to press A and B, and that would be Joven. So Joven's gonna be doing the mashing. Still pretty standard, but uh, we don't need to go for the dupe, so it's just pick up the key and leave. Oh, yeah. Not picking up money makes the game pretty boring. Ah. A lot of open space. Mario. There's no really uh, need to do low percent either. And it only saves like, a couple of frames, but still. Mm -hmm. Won't be watching any area cutscenes in any percent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Back in the laggy as well. <laughs> Lydia fighting for that corner. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're coming back up to Chauncey. Do you think we can get it? I think we can get it. Alright. Me and Flout got in a practice yeah. run. Yeah, we got a last night in a practice run. In the also, shout outs to the 420 Pearls. When Miyamoto made Green Mario, he was just thinking about that cash money and marijuana. It was. Why is this not activated? You have to stand lower. Bro, just stand lower. Wait, How much lower do I have to stand? <laughs> All right, there we go. We got it. We got it. All right. <laughs> so hopefully we see some Chauncey one cycle out of this. Some redemption for Joven on that last run. We're gonna get it. We got this. They will. I they will. Believe. So with uh, with the two being, being two player one controller, it's gonna kind of be divided as HD will be uh, doing most of the work with taking the health, but it's all on Joven to hit that uh, to hit the right timing. So yeah, if you've never seen uh, this category before, you're about to be in for a bit of a surprise. After we save, <laughs> yeah. After geez. we save, yeah. All right, Joven, we got this. I believe. Oh, <laughs> that's my bad. <laughs> Okay, we gotta sit through another cycle. So yeah, wait, we got 25 minutes. We'll get it this time. <laughs> wait, All the things that not gonna up. happen. Let, just stand back. Okay. Just stand back. I think the toughest part, like, 2 v one c is someone's that control sticks right. on the C stick. <laughs> yeah, that's another big thing. All right, we're going this way. Oh, oh it's, it's a little high. high. Good try. So if you miss it, you're just forced to do another cycle. The cycle when under 50 health is a little bit slower. Yes, he's gonna throw an extra cycle of rocking horses at us. It's not slower by much, just yep. just a few seconds. Yeah, like three seconds or something. Traditionally, before one cycle was discovered, Chauncey was let go above 50 health. All right, we'll take damage here. All right. So we're gonna use our iframes to try to catch this second ball here. They got it. Nice. After not doing that for a long while, it's good that the muscle memory is still yeah. there. All right. All right. So we are going to go down to Toad and save mm -hmm. just because the probability of us clipping back in bounds or soft locking is very high. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. A lot of things can go wrong doing out of bounds. It's very precise stuff. We don't want it to happen, but we want to be prepared in case it does happen. It's all you. So get to talk to Toad now. 
One of the few times in this runs, these runs uh, that we help Toad. Usually we just leave him crying. Yeah, yeah. we don't like Toad too much. It takes forever. I like Toad. Good for you, man. <laughs> you mean Keegan and Michael Peel? I like Toad too, it's just slow. <laughs> it's slow, dude. So, mm -hmm. we can clip back under, uh, out of bounds. Well, clip out of bounds by placing a... Uh, by placing... <laughs> Grab the ball by placing this ball right in front of the door. So when we walk into the door, it'll push us behind the chest and we can just clip back out of bounds. That might work. Might work. <laughs> Not Ooh, it's too far down. It's a little bit precise. No. No. Okay. <sighs> that might work. Might. There we go. Okay. All right, go. Now they're behind. All right, All switch right. into sidestep. All right. So, we just gonna walk through an invisible say, door right now. Take a few seconds to open this door. See how yeah, he's basically running on an invisible treadmill. Yeah. So you can tell when we're in this uh, floor 1.5, as we call it, things are a little bit jank. So we wanna walk up to these bats and have it hit our toe. Oh, oh lost, this lost this skew. I want to have the bat hit our toe, and Luigi will start really walking through this door. Actually, shocked that didn't work. Mm -hmm. Luigi will start uh, walking at a funny angle, and by using that, we can get beyond uh, some invisible barriers like that. Nice. So you can't walk past there; you have to get a weird skew just to go through. All right. Let's so. reset the end. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you we gotta like coordinate. You can see right. the first right. floor, but you're dealing three, with like the two, walls and doors one. of the uh, second floor. Oh, right on that. So we're trying to get second skew here. All right, we got. We should have counted down. Yeah. That's all right. Second skew is uh, a lot harder than the first skew, as you need a much more aggressive angle. Luigi mm -hmm. taking his time, getting through the door. Mm -hmm. So we'll give it another try. So that one looks good. All right. All right. Three, two, one. That can there work. We That's go. a. All right, we gotta, we gotta switch, switch into standard. standard. Yeah, switch into standard, and we gotta adjust this angle. So we need no. to get Luigi Pause. pointing straight forward. All right, this is all you. I'm holding the angle. It's A in the next, right? Huh? A in the next. A in the next. Oh, they got okay, it. Okay, okay. All right, all right. So. This is this. probably the hardest part of the run right here. I have to line the edge of the monitor up with the center of this column. But the cutoff's also different on other monitors, so there is a chance that this might not work. We'll see. So yeah, basically um, what's going on is... Okay, press Z. All right. Unpause. Dang. Oh. Uh, so yeah, when going through basement walk, it's basically a tight rope. On your left, you have, uh, you have King Boo that you run into him, he'll send you back to the foyer. Then on the other side, you have an invisible barrier, and if you hit run into it, you just soft lock. So this is why we wanted the practice save, or the, the safety save, just in case that yep. happens. So I think I know that the angle there needs to be a little bit more right. All right. Yeah, dealing with the All physics right. between like, mm -hmm. the vacuum and the chest can mm -hmm. lead to that ball going in some interesting places. Much faster this time. And Luigi needs to be angled very specifically because if he gets scared by any of the ghosts in the hallway, he clips back and bounds. There's lots of parts of any percent that can go wrong. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of safety spots in it that... Uh, and these think, bats are not kill, being nice today. You killed both the bats. Yeah. If you get rid of all the bats, you just got to re-enter the room. What? Mm. These bats keep despawning, dude. Mm -hmm. Hate to see it. Wow. Man, really? All right. There we go. Oh, no. we turned too early. 
You've got this. Right, okay. Doable. Let's go. There we go. Okay. Perfect. Back on through. All right. Second time's the charm, as they say. Back on. All right. Three, two, one, go. Oh, that's a really good this view. Is... All right, we got to turn here. That'll work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, oh, they messed it up. Yeah, basement clip. Everything just has like, for that basement clip there, it's uh, I think it's like an angle specific, frame perfect clip that you have to get. It's repeatable, but in a 2P1C setting, ups the difficulty by a considerable margin. All right, third time's the charm. Well, we got a moment here. Do you mind if I read this donation real quick? Yeah, go, go for it. $25 donation from Kisa's Puffs. The Luigi's Mansion is my favorite summer game, and I like to see it done quick. I'll donate $25 more if everyone gives their best EGAD impressions. I'll start. Suka suka yabo yabo. Suka suka yabo yabo. Suka suka yabo yabo. Suka suka yabo yabo. Oh! Make sure when you give us that extra $25 there, put it towards that DMC4 incentive, please and thank you. It's another $10 donation here. This one's from Cafe Ella. Great run, but have you tried to contact these ghosts with a Luigi board? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm just a messenger. I have a bit more of an apt uh, EGAT impression. Hey, Luigi, have you know about Van Gogh yet? He's this crazy ghost that spawns all these ghosts. He's crazy. I don't know how that didn't work. Everything here is just so precise. And then... It's all precise angles, precise hits. And if you, if you hit a funky piece of geometry, Luigi just gets rid of the skew. And uh, when dealing with 4, 1.5, it just... Three, two, one, go. Another good, good nice. skew. Nice. All right, let's fix that. How are you guys better at the second skew? I have no idea. <laughs> Any questions? All right. Okay. We're back. All right. I back. think I need to be a little bit further right than I was before. We're gonna try that. Tell me one. Press Z. Unpause. We soft locked. Oh. You were too far right. Yep. Thank you guys. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. This is not easy. Like 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 we said, this run has never been attempted before. We were kind of unsure of the uh, if the incentive was happening, but uh, you guys made it happen. So. They have to perform. Good luck, boys. Thank you. Let's just push it. That might work. No, let's just, oh, let's just grab it. There is a setup where you can skip this door, but it is pretty difficult. Yeah. Yes, yeah, it's about seven seconds, and you get a skew with the bats here, but it's a little too difficult to do in this. It's not a strat I'd try on Marathon 2P1C. That's good. All right. Nice. Hey, we're getting this down. Uh, we're getting better. <laughs> All right. Three, two, one, go. 
be good. All right, we should switch. Hang on, straighten him up a little bit more. Okay, that's good. Here we go again. My heart is pounding, dude. Same. Let's do it. Would it maybe be easier to try it with the Game Boy Horror Strat? We'll try it with this one more time. All right, press Z. Go. No. <laughs> uh, We're so close. Maybe we should try the Game Boy Horror Strat. Get a much think? better visual. Done that strat. You haven't done that? I mean, is it who's, who does most of the work? Well, it's kind of both of us. Uh, you just got to spam Y twice, or X twice. We could just go for YOLO walk. Mm. You want to do that? I don't know. That's kind of tough. Should we? Mm. Might be worth a shot. All right, we'll go for it once. Why not? All right. What YOLO walk is, is uh, traditionally this trick has been done with the setup where you go down there, you do take very calculated steps and you try and march your way there and then once you get there you start using the camera and making very precise micro uh, like movements but you start like buffering your every little step but yolo walk you just go work. for it the second you go down there you just start running in and if you manage to stand in between that we'll stand right on that type you're in Not no. Oh, they just come out of nowhere. I think you just gotta let him hit you. you. I think you're moving too much. I mean, he just came out of nowhere. You're scaring them. I am. There you go. There we go. All right, three, two, one, go. That will work. I you guys think. just know how to do that. Maybe the skew is good enough. I don't know. Let's try it. It wasn't. I don't think it's good enough. All right, let's try that again. Luckily, it didn't mess up in the way. Let's do that again. All right, three, two, one, go. That's good. Uh, it was worth a try. It was worth a try. Yeah. We should not do that again. We should <laughs> not do that. You're right. It's a terrible idea. <laughs> for, for, for these guys, they it's probably been years since they've done the older strat. They've uh, they've gotten so used to YOLO walk that it honestly would probably be slightly easier to do uh, the YOLO walk. But it's called YOLO walk for a reason, though. Yeah. Reset. Yeah. I <laughs> guess you didn't open the chest, right? Oh yeah. Well, if the chest is open, you can't go out of bounds anymore. Yeah. Once the chest's open, that, that's it. I got to reset again. Okay, oh, that was what? so fast. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that. That was so fast. <laughs> I don't even know how you guys did that. I don't either. We gotta look into that. We do. Do you? I can definitely see you guys getting better at this as you coordinate better. Yeah, we are. Three, two, one, go. Sweet. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. We'll just take it safe anyways. What? 
He wasn't good enough, unfortunately. Yes, get the angle. Alright. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. Now that's a good skew. That, that, yeah, let's just go with that. Dang. This room. Already got a moment here for some more donations? We do. Absolutely. Here is $25 here from Incredible Edible Egg. A two-player, one-controller Luigi's Mansion run. That's unbelievable. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> so a $5 donation here from Keygar that says, Who are you going to call? Speed Runners! I ain't afraid of no ghosts, but Luigi is. Thanks for the super cool 2P1C run. Audience, can I get some good energy? Thank you, please. Thank you. All right, we got it this time. So that happens when a ceiling ghost or a bowling yeah. ghost just pops out. Happens sometimes you know, it's not around really fast enough. Sometimes when you hit that bat, Luigi just skews randomly and to a different direction, and it'll just uh, ghost will immediately pop out and get you. You need to press C stick. Thought I was. Back out of bounds. We'll get him this time. We'll get him this time. Remember that C stick, Joven. I'm holding. There we go. Oh, that looks looking. good. They both look good. Mario. Let's knock here. Reset Mario. the angle. There we go. There we go. Reset. All right. Three, two, one, go. See? And pause? No. <laughs> this is killing. All right. We need a mercy kill, unfortunately. Sorry, guys. That's cool. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Uh, well, guys, unfortunately. Runs over. <laughs> we cannot finish for you. But Sorry about if, that. If you were wondering what would have happened is we were maybe like a foot away from making it into the final boss yeah. room, and we just talked to King Boo, and we, we just ended it.
but unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately, yes. it didn't happen. If we had a little bit more time to prepare, I think we could have done it. But who knows? Maybe we'll do this again someday. Anyways, thank y'all for watching. Outs. Oh yeah, shout outs. Uh, oh, we want to give big shout outs to the LM community, Luigi's Mansion community. Shout yes. out to the Luigi's Mansion Discord. We have a very special Discord where all three communities from Dark Moon, LM3, and LM1 all reside in the same Discord. So we all are, all are able to interact and uh, makes it easy to learn other games and meet new people. Yeah, and of course, shout outs to Miles and Flauk for commentating this. You guys did an amazing job. And shout outs to Joven. Shout outs to HD. Thank you. That was a fun race. <laughs> and thank you all for watching. Appreciate it. Thank you guys it. for watching. Stay safe out there. <laughs>
Other Worlds is a Red Bull gaming content series hosted by Red Bull player and speedrunner David Grand Pooh Bear Hunt that highlights niche, unconventional games and the players driving each community. Tune into new episodes each month at youtube.com slash at Red Bull LFG. Their YouTube channel already has two videos up, including the latest video with offline TV and some WWE stars. Be sure to check it out. And we've got Jackbox Games here. You've got many party games available, and they're all on Steam, Switch, Xbox, PlayStation, and more. Seriously, anywhere you can think of. You can play fan favorites like Quiplash, Trivia Murder Party, Drawful, and Fibbage. I'm a big Quiplash fan. Steam codes are on sale for up to 60% off at shop.jackboxgames.com. So you can visit their website, jackboxgames.com, to learn more about all available games.